or I should say, why do rich people vote for more socialist uh, politicians in America? Why do billionaires vote for socialism? You notice uh, there's Ro Khanna, who's one of the most socialist, anti-capitalist representatives in Congress. He comes from the Silicon Valley area. That's his district. And I think last time I checked, uh, Ro Khanna's district, the median income of his district is something like $115,000 per year. So uh, he represents people that make lots and lots of money, who you would say would benefit from big tax cuts. These are people who make lots and lots of money. I mean, I live in Los Angeles. Most of the people... Uh, you know, there's not a house in Los Angeles that is less than $500,000. You cannot buy property in Los Angeles unless you have at least half a million dollars. And that might get you a, a closet. That wouldn't get you like a three bedroom, one and a half uh, bedroom house. You can get those in Michigan, I know, for, you know, 100000 200000 No problem. Vegas, you can get a nice three bedroom house for 150000 But in Los Angeles... You're going to need at least half a million, at least. These chain chomps. Who's making all these chain chomp levels? Now the moles? Oh! What? I didn't jump for some reason. I think my thumb slipped. And then, yeah, a lot of these billionaires, these celebrity billionaires like Boss Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg and Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, they're all progressives. They all lean left. But why? You would think they would vote for greedy capitalist Republicans who would lower their taxes and alleviate their regulations so that they can get work done, right? So why do they vote for these, these Democrats and these socialists? Well, I think there's a lot of reasons. I think, uh, I think a lot of these people feel guilty about their wealth. Warren Buffett, uh, he attributes most of his success and his riches to, to luck. He talks about it all the time. Oh, I'm lucky to be in this country. I was lucky to be born into into this family. And uh, I was lucky lucky to get this teacher and meet this mentor. It was all luck. You know, there there was hard work involved. There was ingenuity involved. There was thinking involved. But most part, just luck. Feels guilty about his wealth, Warren Buffett. It's unfortunate. And he's had a, a huge influence on uh, on people like Bill Gates. They're like butt buddies, you know? Bill Gates and Warren Buffett just hanging out, having coffee. Billionaires getting coffee, talking about how lucky they are. I think even Melinda, Bill and Melinda Gates were on Stephen Colbert a couple weeks ago, and Melinda Gates said something like, uh, people who are given a lot have huge responsibility. It's like, you weren't given that much money. Bill Gates earned it. He made that billions of dollars by selling software and personal computers and Xboxes and all that crap. Can I kill these chain chomps with a turtle shell? We're about to find out. Yes, you can. Good night. Oh my God, it's hard to jump in time with the, with the ice. So there's that, they feel guilty about their wealth. These billionaires and these richers. And on top of that, look at what they're uh, given with politically. So uh, the, the so-called pro-capitalist side of, uh, of American politics, these Republicans who are all about low taxes and, and, uh, and less regulations, what else do they stand for? Even First of all, they suck at defending capitalism. Let's, let's get that out of the way. They're, they're just terrible at it. Like, oh, capitalism's good because it, it creates jobs and it creates the wealth and then people can be more altruistic with it, like Ben Shapiro. Uh, capitalism is just forced altruism, so it's gone. Mm. Loser. I shouldn't call him a loser. He's way smarter and more successful than me, but he's, uh, he's wrong to defend capitalism on that ground. That's my point. Oh, I lost my turtle shell. Ah! There we go. Finally. Finally, finally. 
So the so-called pro-capitalist side, they're terrible at defending capitalism, but even if they were good at it, even if they were good at defending and promoting capitalism, what else do they stand for? A lot of these Republicans, they're very religious. They're, uh... Oh, I got... I blew it. I wasn't patient enough. A lot of these Republicans, uh... They're very religious. They want to bring the Bible back into schools. Got, got this knucklehead Charlie Kirk, who's apparently the biggest defender of capitalism, the founder of Turning Point USA, Mr. Capitalism Charlie Kirk. Uh, once tweeted out like, Oh, what, what, why isn't the Bible taught in schools? Uh, it's the most influential book in history. It should be taught in schools. So they want to bring the Bible back to schools. They doubt things like evolution, science like evolution. Um... They're very anti-gay marriage. Don't think gays have the right to get married, because why? Oh, the Bible says, okay. America's a Christian country founded on Christian values, okay. And now they're anti-immigrant, the Republicans. They're the party of uh, anti-immigration. Meanwhile, Silicon Valley, most of, the, most of the successful people in Silicon Valley are... Uh, are either immigrants or the children of immigrants. And you're just going to say, oh yeah, the, the, the immigrants are taking our jobs and they're ruining America. What else do they stand for? So yeah, they want to bring the Bible back. They, they want to bring the Bible back to schools. They want to, they, they want to build a wall. They want to, they think the immigrants are responsible for all the problems in society, or at least some of them, if not a lot of them. They, they doubt science. They want to take, uh, they, they don't think gays should get married because of religion. And so if you're a billionaire, if you're one of these secular billionaires like Boss Bezos or Mark Zuckerberg or uh, the founder of Twitter, Jack, what, I can't remember his name. His name escapes me for some reason. Got the field goal. Um, their options are either these Republicans uh, who, you know, they, they, they'll they lower your taxes, they'll get rid of regulations, but at the same time, they have all that other nuttiness stuff that outweighs any benefits of capitalism that they suck at defending. Or you have the Democrats, you have the left, who say, yeah, we want socialism, but we only want a little more socialism. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take more of your money, but think about it. If, if we take your money and uh, we build schools with it, we're going we're gonna to take your money and we're going to build schools with it. And that, that means in 20 years you're going to have uh, more educated kids who are going to be able to program your software, that you're going to be able to hire for your companies. And uh, we're going to take your money and we're going to build roads and infrastructure with it so that you'll be able to uh, easily move your products. And that's going to create jobs. And hey, more jobs means more people are going to be able to buy your products. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't have money to buy your products. So if we give them, uh, if we take your money and give it to these people in the form of welfare or whatnot, then they're going to have more money to buy your products. Isn't that great? Isn't that pro-capitalism? What the heck? What are these things? What? That was confusing. Jack Dorsey, that's his name, the founder of Twitter. I, I don't know why I couldn't... I want to say Jack, uh... I don't know. Jack Dorsey. So yeah, so then the Democrats say, oh, we're going to give people more, we're going to have more jobs, uh, more people are going to have more money to buy your products, and we're all about uh, legalizing gay marriage, and we're all inclusive, we want more immigrants, especially in the workplace, we want a, we want a very diverse workplace. What do you think these billionaires are going to choose? These things are scary. Goodness. Seems to go to hell. You go to hell and you die. Oh my god, a big one. And now now, now my, my power-ups are flying away. Can't even get them. Oh my goodness.
So that's why the rich and the billionaires, even though it'd be in their interest to vote uh, vote for less taxes, they, they rationalize it through bad economics. And uh, I mean, let's be honest, the conservatives and the Republicans, they're just, they're terrible at defending capitalism. They bring a, a whole lot of other baggage that uh, that's not worth uh, the trouble. That, that, that is really off-putting and turns off to these rather secular billionaires.